Hello, it's Mr. Mabry, and in this video, we are going to talk about how to use Microsoft Excel to make data tables and graphs. Um, if you were watching this video in 2015, then you know we've been trying to use Microsoft OneNote, and it's just annoying to make a data table in OneNote, and Excel is really powerful in making graphs. So here's what we're going to do. So to make a data table, um, we are first going to just pretend that these lines, um, I guess what I'm saying is don't worry about this right here. Just go ahead and pretend all of this is your data table. We'll outline in a minute to make it look pretty. So for instance, I'm going to make a data table for the tissue lab my uh, students have been doing. So I'm going to write down here, brand of tissue. I'm going to write down the different brands that were being texted, Kleenex, and up, and up, and DynerX. Then over going to right here, I've got my trial one, trial two, trial three, average column. Here's where Excel is awesome. I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to merge it and say this is where I'm testing my strength of tissues. My unit is going to be pennies. This ideally here is also merged together. It looks pretty. Let me center it. Oh, look at that. It even lets me center it. That's beautiful. And then to make it look real tight, I can highlight all of those. And there is a button makes it look pretty. Let me see. Up oh, here we go. Button. All borders. Now that is a pretty data table. Nice, clean, easy. I'm going to throw in some uh, fake numbers here real quick just so we can grab something. Let's say 34, 52, 16. Maybe this one was 17, 21, and 19. Dynarex, we'll say you're only 4, 8, and 7. Now, you guys might not know this about Excel, maybe you've already learned this, but Excel can do the hard work for you of calculating averages. If you type equals average, put a parenthesis, see how it says, which numbers do you want me to average? I'll say, oh, I'll tell you Excel. Left click, hold and drag, put an in parenthesis around it, hit enter. Ooh, thank you. Oh, I went one too far. It should only be D3. Three. So these three numbers right here, how do I know? Two left double clicks, those are the three numbers that are averaged. You want to see another cool trick? If you get that average right, I can just highlight these three cells right here. Hit Control and D, two fingers, Control and D, and look at that. It copied my formula. There's that average. Two clicks, oh, yep, it was those averages. Two left clicks to double check those three averages. Go Excel, you're awesome. If you're like, Mr. Baby, that's gross. I don't want all those tenth places. That's fine. Just highlight the whole column and come over here and tell it how many decimals you want. I only want what do I tell it? General. General. Just want a number. Oh, two decimal points. Yep. Take it to the right. Say you only want one. Oh, I want one, Mr. Baby. There you go. So these will move your decimal points when you highlight them. That's the easy part of making a data table. Now, the harder part, though, is telling it what you want it to grab. My advice would be, go ahead, we're going to highlight. We want to grab these three things, and this is our data we want to grab. Now, I know you're thinking, maybe I don't want to grab all this. I just want to grab the average. I think an easy way, though, to start is just left-click, drag, and hold from all of your IV groups and all these numbers. It's a good, easy way to start. Whoa, crazy. Good way to start. Then we're going to come up here to insert. We want to insert a chart is what Excel calls graph. Um, I'm going to, I don't want a line graph for this particular one. I want to insert a column chart. So I'm going to left click on the chart. Tell it what I want. Do I want 2D? Do I want it to be a little crazy? The majority of what we're doing in my class will be, if we're doing a bar graph, we're going to do something like this. I'm going to left click here and voila! graphs it for you. Now, notice here, it tells you what your key is. That's the orange stuff. See how it says Kleenex up and up Dynarex right here? And then the blue is the data it's using. Now, you're looking at this and I'm thinking, hmm, I don't want all of these numbers. I just want the averages. Well, watch this. If I left click here and drag this over, now all of a sudden it's only graphing the averages. So blue, there's Kleenex at 34, orange up and up, Dynarex. Look, it's already Awesome. 
Now, the main thing, though, this is missing is it's missing your axis, your x-axis label, your y-axis label, and your title. So this plus key is going to help you out. It says, ding, you want axis titles. Um, and we have our chart title here. You can just do two left clicks, highlight it. We can write the effect of tissue brand on tissue string, following the formula in earlier notes you took. For our title here, we can write geographic brand of tissues. And our title over here should be what we have up here, which is strength. And our unit is pennies. So now, this automatically is populated by this. If these numbers change, this graph will change. Um, and that is how you can make a data table graph all in Excel. Now, when you write a conclusion for me, I'm going to probably have you um, cut and paste from Excel to go into um, either Microsoft Word or OneNote. But it's so easy to make it on this, I think it saves you time. Um, I wanted to make a video to show you how to do it. Thanks for watching.